I'm Joanna Simpson here at Risk Minds International. Joining me now is Marcus Cromick, CIO and board member of Commerce Bank. So how is big data at advanced analytics changing the way we do risk management? Well, I think risk can be the driver in the change in the organization with big data and advanced analytics. Um, and not only in the classical risk functions, it's about safeguarding the capital, adhering compliance behavior, but also when it comes to gaining efficiency and implementing the digital strategy in the banks. And that is of course requiring a lot of change for the organization when it comes to skills, to tools, and, and to mindset. And what examples are there of that? Well, first we decided in Commerce Bank to put all our data in a big data lake to overcome those data silos between functions. And that allows us then really to gain more insight out of the combination of all the data. Um, second, we really try to get to a stage where we optimize all our risk decisions, especially in the small uh, retail space or in the small uh, corporate space, in order to make them as fast as possible and also as efficient as possible. Uh, third example, um, when it comes to things like financial fraud or anti-money laundering, which is a very important mm -hmm. topic, um, of course, um, you can get more efficiency in detecting those most likely fraudulent transactions and at the same time dramatically reduce the number of the so-called false positives. False positives is like looks like an alarm but it's nothing at the end and that is also creating a lot of work for nothing and it's annoying the customer. And these are all very topical but what do you find so fascinating about working in risk management? Well uh, if you love risk management and, and the topic and you see now these data available you see the tools available, the new methods, um, you're just excited of all the things you can do. And, uh, and of course we are now much more closer to reaching our, our goal of bringing analysis to a quicker decision because this time can now be shortened dramatically because you're much faster in get, getting certain analysis done than before. And last but not least, um, the, the risk people um, have been trained over the last 10 years to gather data, to analyze data, and to, to draw conclusions with the models they built. And that puts the risk function a little bit in the driver's seat for the change going forward with this bigger pool of data. Marcus Kramer, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much. <laughs>